what's up everyone it's Henry here so in this video the goal is to give you my perspective on what I felt like was the best investment for recording YouTube videos or videos in general so without further talk let's get right into it the two setups that I have let's go through the pros and cons of each one so the first setup I got the DSLR Sony camera and basically the benefits of this is you can take great quality pictures and record great quality videos. Uh, it's interchangeable lens, the lens, meaning you can use different lens for the same camera body. You can have several attachment. Here you have a microphone, and you can have different sort of tripods to put on the bottom, just like that. Now the total cost for this setup, which includes the body, the Sony body. This is a Sony A7R2, and the lens was about $4,000. Now, if you ask me, that is really expensive. Like, really, really expensive. Now, the cons of this camera setup is it's really big. This is a lot of things that you need to put together to make a whole complete setup. So, for example, if you want to record a vlog or a video, imagine holding this body up with this lens attached like that. It's, it gets really heavy and it's very big so it's sort of like you, you have to hold it like this so there's not a lot of flexibility in terms of the movement you can't really bring it everywhere with you unless you want to hold the gigantic camera like this wherever you go and if you drop it oh man that's another story so yeah that's that's the, the pros and cons of this sort of camera setup if you plan to do vlogs or make video skits or what have you not. You get great quality at the expense of a big price tag and a lot of weight carrying around everywhere. For the second setup here, I also have a Sony camera. I'm a big Sony fan. I recently got this camera, uh, I would say a year and a half ago, and the total cost was about $1,100. And that includes these, this tripod handle and the camera body itself. So as you can see, the size of the camera, it's very portable. You can just put this literally in your jacket pocket, in your pocket pocket, in your hot pocket. Yeah, very compatible as well as you can take very clear, very crisp photos and it, the lens depth of field, it's very long, meaning you can take a up close portrait shot just like this, or if you're really you know, far away from something and you want to get up close, you could take a pretty clear photo of that as well. You could see how that lens just extended like that. Very nice. And the one benefit of this, which is why I really love this camera, is the screen can flip. So if you want to vlog, you can literally see yourself recording just like, like that. Now, extra cool features that this camera has is a viewfinder. And again, the camera is very compact, but if you flip the switch right here, boom, and it automatically turns on the camera. And if you want to put it away, all you got to do is push down on the viewfinder and it goes away. An additional feature that makes it really cool is this, the flash. So you just hit it like that and you take a photo, flash, flash. Really, the pros of this camera, very compact, high quality, it's thousand dollars, so it's it still has a big price tag to it. But in comparison to the first setup, it's almost a quarter of its price. Uh, the handle comes as a tripod, as a, in its own. So if you want to kind of set it down, you can just set it down like that, and the it's adjustable as well, so you can angle it. Uh, let's see what else. It's very portable. I don't know if I said. I'm pretty sure I said that already. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a great, I, can't, I don't really have any cons of this. I mean, what can you expect? It's a really compact camera, but still very powerful. So in all honesty, if I had to pick one setup between this very powerful, expensive camera and this compact yet powerful camera, I would 100% go with this one. Now this one I bought three years ago, about $4,000 in totals. I will say I did take some great photos with it, but I did not get my money's worth. I always wanted to record high quality, you know, cinematic videos with this camera, but it really never happened. It's just, it's just too much work and I don't have that sort of skill set yet. But for this one, I could record videos, take photos on the go 
anywhere that I want. And you know, I'm just really relaxed. So that's today's video. And if you're wondering what sort of camera I'm using to record, I'm using my GoPro Hero 5 to record so I don't see myself as opposed to this one. So hopefully I captured everything the way I wanted it. Uh, so yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope this helped you realize that you don't need an expensive camera to take high quality photos or videos at all. I mean, find something that works for you. And if you just want to do some vlogging where you can see yourself, this sort of camera is your one, is the one. All right, I'm out. Peace.